Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I want to talk about frontline workers and Google's new frontline worker plan or tier. If you'd like to know more about it, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so this week I want to talk about frontline workers first, uh, and then talk about Google's new frontline worker SKU or plan which uh, was released only about a, a month or so ago, and it's aimed or targeted at companies that specifically have frontline workers. So Google's um, sort of tagline on this is closing the frontline worker technology gap uh, with Google Workspace. So they, they have uh, identified this technology gap for frontline workers, um, and they want to help uh, close the gap here. So firstly, who are frontline workers? I think most of us probably know know this, but um, just to make sure everybody's on the same page, uh, we're talking about deskless workers, primarily using handheld devices like uh, iPhones or tablets or uh, Android devices. Uh, they're often task orientated, uh, things like assembly, farming, construction, forestry, or service orientated, restaurants, healthcare, retail. And um, businesses did their best to adapt when uh, COVID-19 hit. Obviously more people were working from home, they put in place things like um, safety protocols around PPE uh, and, and tried to increase the use of technology. And what um, businesses found was that uh, knowledge workers actually transferred to working from home relatively okay um, in comparison to uh, frontline workers. Frontline workers found they were faced with unprecedented demand, higher risk of exposure to COVID-19. They also were increasingly isolated, uh, and so it was harder for them to connect. They worked longer hours, and onboarding and offboarding employees was more difficult for businesses. Um, and also things like challenges around transportation, commuting, uh, and just sort of fear and stress around um, COVID-19 and around uh, all of these different areas sort of combined together. And shockingly, only 35% of deskless or frontline workers said that they received additional technology uh, to be able to do their job. Uh, and globally, over 80% of the workforce are actually frontline workers. And so these people have unmet technology needs um, that need to be addressed. 70% of frontline workers said that more technology would actually help them to do their job more effectively. And so again, we can see this contrast between the number of frontline workers that were given additional technology to complete their job and the numbers that feel that if they had better or more technology, they could do their jobs more effectively. And next we have shadow IT. 53% of frontline workers currently use unapproved messaging apps for work-related communications. Things like WhatsApp um, or even text message are being used, and there, there's lots of these other types of messaging apps being used within businesses for business communication between employees because they don't have anything else. And this is what happens within businesses when, when organizations, or sorry, when employees are not, are not provided by their organizations the technology that they need to do their job. And so Google has introduced um, Google Workspace for frontline workers. As Google say here, it's everything your frontline workers need to get things done and now in, in one place. So there's a couple of different areas within this. Uh, I've broken these into communication or communicate, secure and manage. Uh, and it goes into more detail, but I'm just gonna talk about it at a very high level. So from a communication standpoint, um, you've got chat and email and video conferencing all in one place within primarily the Gmail app. Uh, is what, what the frontline worker, again, is probably gonna be using uh, their, their mobile device. Um, in terms of security, it's got built-in security because of course it's Google, it's easy to monitor and protect and ensure compliance from the organization's point of view. And then also managing uh, those devices and those end users, you've got things like single sign-on, device management, auto app provisioning. Many of our customers will use things like Google Cloud Identity, um, which is basically using Google as your identity provider to provision other applications within the business. So someone signs into their Google account and they actually have access to multiple applications through that single sign-on process. So what's included in the Google Workspace Frontline Worker? Well, um, firstly, we have Google Drive. And I think 
file storage is probably uh, one of the key areas uh, for frontline workers that they would often have to access documents. And so you've got two gigabytes of storage uh, per user account and um, the content is easily stored and shared with, with your frontline workers. You've got um, a single app for communication and email and chat and video conferencing all within the Gmail app now and the Gmail mobile app gives you access to, to all of those within one application, which is fantastic. You've got Google Calendar for scheduling, things like uh, stand-ups and shifts and appointments and customer visits can all be scheduled through the, the Google Calendar app. You've also got access to all of the um, collaborative features of Google. So you've got things like Google Docs and Sheets and Slides for sharing information. And many of our customers already um, within the, the retail space and healthcare will use things like Google Sheets to share um, data amongst multiple locations and find it much, much easier to gather information uh, from employees and staff on the ground. And then again, we've got that protection of company data with advanced endpoint management. So um, even though the price point is, is much closer to the business starter plan, um, you're getting this advanced security within the frontline workers, worker SKU because Google realize uh, that that's vital for, for organizations. And also, I just wanted to mention this kind of works better together. So, you know, Google are mentioning that obviously things like Chrome and Android devices um, m you know, work obviously really well with Google Workspace and many frontline organizations or organizations with frontline workers are already using these type of dev devices, whether it's rugged devices or whether it's tablets or point of sale devices for Chrome or Android. These are already being used um, in, in shops and, and uh, retail and healthcare and, and all these sort of um, areas that have frontline workers already. And so obviously that's gonna work really nicely um, with Google Workspace. And really the message here is don't leave your frontline workers behind. Empower your employees by closing this technology gap um, with the Google Workspace uh, Frontline Worker SKU. So the Google Workspace Frontline Worker SKU is $5 per user per month or €4.30 Euros uh, if you're in Europe or £3.90 if you're in uh, Sterling and if you're in the UK. So that is the price per user per month for this new SKU from Google or Plan or Tier, whichever you want to call it. Um, and it's available now to limited organizations. So it is organizations that match the criteria around having frontline workers and they are the only workers, you know, the sort of deskless workers uh, that you can use it for. So that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's update. If you are interested in hearing more about the different pricing plans and tiers, because there is quite a few now, we're going to be doing an additional video um, later on on all of the different tiers. And so we're going to explain the differences in, in all of those and what the kind of primary or core ones are, the breakdown between business and enterprise. So if you're interested in that, do keep an eye out. The best way to keep an eye out for our new content is to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, or if you're on LinkedIn to follow our company page as well. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this week's update and I will see you guys next week.